Do you ever wonder, why am I so tired on my period? Well, I'm gonna tell you exactly why you're so tired on your period. Although not all women get tired on their periods, if you do, it's a problem. You still gotta work, you still got responsibilities. Let's talk about why you're so tired and what you can do about it, okay? First of all, your hormones are to blame. Yep, it's not that you're anemic from all that bleeding, it's your hormones. Now, not that you couldn't be anemic, and if that's so, stay tuned for my video on treating anemia, but for most of us women, it's our hormones. When you're on your period, your hormones are at their lowest point, almost non-existent. In fact, it's the withdrawal from your hormones that induces your uterus to shed, starting your bleeding. Then it takes a few days of your hormones being really low for your hypothalamus to say, hey, why is estrogen so low? What's going on down there, ovaries? And then your hypothalamus, who's the real boss of your body and all of your hormones, tells your pituitary gland, which is the middle manager, to tell your ovaries, make some estrogen. So by day five to seven of your period, the first day you bleed is day one. Your pituitary gland produces a master hormone called FSH, or follicle stimulating hormone, to tell your ovaries to start ripening the follicles, which are your eggs to be and it's your follicles that produce estrogen. So your estrogen rises over the second week of your menstrual cycle until you release an egg from one of the many follicles that try to be the egg of the month. That's called ovulation. Estrogen is energizing. Yes, estrogen helps you get insulin and glucose into your cells. That helps you make energy. Estrogen also helps your brain make more serotonin, which helps you focus and create and make decisions. So during your period when estrogen levels are low, you're ju not just physically tired, you're mentally tired. And then there's progesterone. When you're on your period, your progesterone levels are also really low, and your ovaries do not make progesterone until after you ovulate. That's about two weeks or so after you start your period. That's a long time to go without progesterone. Progesterone not only prepares your body for a potential pregnancy, progesterone helps you make stress hormones, specifically cortisol, which fuels your fight or flight response. So when you're on your period, your normal responses are slowed way down. There's just not enough progesterone to help you respond to everyday stressors, which is really exhausting. You have no motivation and you're bone tired. So how are you going to keep up with all of your responsibilities while you're on your period? Check out my free hormone reboot training. I'm going to show you exactly what each of your hormones do and how to maximize their effectiveness naturally. And last but not least, there's testosterone. You have a little peak of testosterone right before your period, which can be energizing, and then your testosterone bottoms out too. And testosterone helps your body feel strong, and without it, you feel weak and tired. Thank goodness your period tiredness only lasts a day or two. After three days of low sex hormones, your hypothalamus tells your adrenal glands to give your ovaries a hand. And your adrenal glands produce DHEA, which can be converted into testosterone and then into estrogen until your ovaries get back in the swing of things and make energizing estrogen, testosterone, and progesterone. Now, if you're still bone tired a week after your period, you may be anemic. So check out my video on how to treat anemia naturally.